good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Thursday, May 16th. I'm Christy Matino. The U.S. Capitol Police are investigating a bag found inside the agency's headquarters that contains cocaine residue. Officials said on Wednesday a Ziploc bag was found on the hallway floor that is used as a staging area for furniture and supplies. It's typically filled with contractors and other employees with departments like prisoner and crime scene reports processing. Now that bag was found around 1 p.m. and was then tested and turned positive for cocaine. It's unclear whether Capitol Police officials have found a suspect, but the agency said it would do further testing on the residue and DNA tests on the bag. And the White House was pressed on President Biden's recent comments relating to inflation on Wednesday. Our Hasten Willis tells us more from that briefing. The White House was put on the defensive after President Biden made a pair of dubious economic claims. Two times over the past two weeks, the president said inflation was 9% when he came into office. Is the president misleading <clears throat> Americans on that, or does he just not realize that inflation was 1.4% when he came so, into office? So, you know, and, and, and thank you for the question, because I know that this, we got a lot of incoming on this yesterday. And look, I th what the president was, the point that he was making uh, is that uh, the factors that caused inflation was in place when he walked in into the administration, when he took office. It's, as you know, the pandemic caused uh, inflation around the world uh, to be uh, 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 by disrupting our economy and uh, breaking our supply chains. As you know, we had to act quickly on dealing with the supply chain. He put together a task force. You saw the president do that. Inflation did reach 9%. But not until June of 2022, when Biden had been in office for 18 months. It has since fallen to 3.4%, but remains well above the Federal Reserve's target rate. I'm Haston Willis for the Washington Examiner. And who do Republican voters want to see former President Donald Trump pick as his running mate? As both first and second pick, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is the clear choice. A new poll shows DeSantis takes in 29% of all votes. Former United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley is the next favorite, but very far off compared to DeSantis in that survey. Trump said he will announce his choice soon and said his supporters won't find it surprising. Other possibilities include South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, Texas Governor Greg Abbott, and former Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy, but they all polled far lower than DeSantis, around 10 to 12 percent of the vote each. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow on our website and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.